Hello there, my name is Ismail, and welcome to another exciting Blender tutorial. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make uh, this scene here, just blowing some uh, leaves around with a leaf blower. And uh, yeah, you can see they're reacting to the wind, and I can also control uh, the wind direction with this control object. Yeah, so let's get in started by. Yeah, so one thing to note is that uh, I'm using uh, the rigid body system, not uh, the particle system. You can see I don't have any particle system here. Uh, the reason for that is that uh, when, I tr when I was testing this out, I found that uh, it was very difficult uh, to have your particles start at a stationary uh, position like this, where they are not being emitted by another object. I thought of using maybe a negative uh, emission value, something like system here. I thought of uh, starting from negative value, a negative start frame, and then waiting for the particles uh, to settle down and then uh, uh, then see what happens. But uh, that also kind of created a few issues uh, that I will look at maybe in a different tutorial. But uh, for this, we're just going to be using the rigid body system. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, I'm going to upload uh, the reef the process of modeling the, the leaf and texturing it on my second channel at top, uh, Blender Money. I'll be leaving a li the link in the description uh, if you want to see how I made uh, the texturing and uh, how I made the leaf essentially. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to borrow this leaf here, Control C to copy it. Again, if you want to watch how I made that, you can just go to uh, the link in the description. Uh, you can find the time lapse to how I set up the entire scene here, including the materials for this. So. Yeah, let's delete this. I'll paste the leaf here. See everything. Yeah, just waiting for the shaders to compile. Okay, great. So this is our leaf, well textured. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to start with a particle system. Okay, why is planet too lagging? We're going to start with a particle system just to emit, just to, to place these particles uh, down. And uh, for that, I'm just going to use go to the particle system, add a new particle system. I'm going to use the hair system as to have these particles lying on the on the ground. So under our render, render as, select the object, set render as as object, and uh, you can you should have them this just need to push them above the ground let me first look at my normals okay everything looks fine are uh, there are a few ways to have these above your ground I uh, you can just offset the mesh uh, the pivot point so you can see if I push these around can see how I've brought that these above uh, the surface and then now I can go into uh, the particle settings here settings turn on advanced uh, so that I can randomize uh, the rotation of uh, these particles I ran into an issue uh, that when I was uh, experimenting here is that uh, I created a lot of uh, particles uh, that my computer can't really handle and uh, I had to wait for a few seconds every time I wanted to bake and uh, since I'm creating a tutorial I don't want to sit and make you wait that long so I'm going to reduce the particle count here to about 500 so that my render my bake time is a bit uh, lower and also now let's randomize uh, the rotation of these uh, leaves so you might also find that uh, when you add when you add uh, your particle, this object as your inner object, you might find that uh, the, re the orientation of the leaves is a bit off, say something like this or whatever like that. Uh, just go into edit mode of the object and rotate it by 90 degrees in different axes, in different axes until you find the right orientation. That. Now to randomize this rotation, you just have to turn on rotation here in the particle settings and then turn on phase and then random phase. Play around with the random phase and uh, random phase like 
that. Great. Uh, so the problem with the uh, part hair particles are uh, they don't really react. Uh, they do react with the uh, forces, uh, say uh, the wind, uh, this, uh, the force field wind, uh, the same we're going to be using, but uh, they stay attached. You can see they're actually starting to react to the direction of the wind, but uh, they always, they are always attached uh, to the ground as hair. So let me just give this up and see they will always be attached. Uh, they'll stay planted on the ground. And that's not what we want. We want them to have free movement like you see in these leaves here. So to do that, uh, what I'm going to do, let me first turn off this. And I've messed up my orientation. Let me undo this. Great. So what, what you do, you just go to the modifiers and apply or convert this particle system and that should make all the particle systems all the particles you have in your scene uh, it will turn them into actual objects uh, so but uh, you will still have this original uh, version so for that just to make sure that you don't slow down your pc too much and that we don't even need this so I'll just turn off the particle system in the display and uh, maybe even hide this object i'll just move it to a new collection i'll call it extras extras in case I want to go back to that and see what I've done. And you can see we have a lot of particles. Uh, it should be the number of particles you entered here. So for mine, it's, it was uh, around 500. So what I'm going to do is move them into their own collection so that it makes it easier for me. So that is easier for me to select them. Uh, so let me just hide everything other than the particles and then box select the particles, hit aim and I'll call these particles. And I just need to collapse. I, f I hope they were trying to see if there is a way to collapse this without scrolling over everything. Okay, just collapse that. And uh, now, if you want to select all the particles, let me bring back all the other stuff. If you want to select all the particles, you just select one particle and then Shift G and select collection and you should select all the particles for you now we can scale this ground a bit maybe push it down just a bit as well and we can start working on the rigid body system another thing i did uh, in my uh, original version is that uh, i selected everything all the particles 50 collection and link, link them to this object here so that if I wanted to make any changes, uh, actually they are already linked, I think, yeah. Uh, so that's good. Yeah, so by default, they are linked to this object. So yeah, you don't have to do that same. But if you want to do that, just select the particles and the object and then control L link object data. But uh, that's already done by default. So now it's time to make them uh, rigid body objects. So let me first push this a bit down so that we can see them falling. I'll select uh, the collection, object, rigid body, active, and uh, this should be, I uh, shouldn't have these hair particles, so I can remove that. Uh, go to the rigid body, go to the physics tab, uh, rigid body. Uh, this should be passive and uh, great. If you play back, you can see they will just fall off, it's fall down. Uh, but uh, you see that uh, some of them are going through uh, so to fix that, just select the object at uh, the ground and extrude it down so that it has some thickness to it. Uh, that should reduce, remove, or avoid the particles from going uh, through the ground. Another thing you want to do is always make sure that uh, your normals are facing the right direction. And see, mine are a bit off. So I'll select everything, shift N, just to make sure that... Uh, and uh, the way you check, you just go under the overlays, and uh, you should find the option under here. Let's see, you can see they are falling down with ease. Uh, so, but I also don't want them to fall down like that. I want them to be stationary for a few seconds when we start. Okay. Yeah, you can see we have a few problems there. So let me push this down a bit and see if we still have that. 
phi scale for this Yeah, we're having this issue here. So uh, a way to eliminate that is uh, to give this a bit of uh, thickness. Uh, maybe, let's see, give it a solidify modifier, but uh, that will increase the particle, the vertex count for your objects, uh, which will, which might slow down your faces. Uh, but uh, if you look at this cl closely, you can see that uh, that intersection is as a result of this convex shape or concave, I'm not sure. Uh, con I think it's called convex, okay, I don't know. But uh, that push in in the mesh. So if I push it out, we should get rid of uh, that intersect intersection, intersecting, uh, yeah, that, exactly. Uh, so now it's time to work on the wind. So I'll just add a force field, wind, and uh, play around, and make it just beat. So I'll start a keyframe here then move it forward a bit. Change the rotation just a bit. And around here, rotate that. Let's see. Okay, this is a bit slow, so I'm just going to scale this down a bit and also reduce my timeline to about 100 frames. Playback. Yeah, so I think the force of the wind is a bit low, so I'm going to go under the physics tab and increase the force to about 100 and see what happens. Uh, now you can see that uh, the leaves are tra are start have started responding to uh, the wind, but uh, I don't want them to respond, all of them to be affected by the wind. So I don't want this wind to be that powerful uh, that uh, it blows even the last leaf here. So to limit uh, the strength of the, to limit the wind, I uh, can select the wind object and then under fall off, you can say, you can turn on uh, maximum distance. Now when you increase this, it will show you how far the wind is blowing. So Playback. Now you can see we are only affecting uh, the objects within uh, that radius. So right now these objects are a bit heavy because they are one kilogram each, and uh, for a leaf that's uh, that's too much. So to reduce that, just select one of the leaves and then Shift G collect sele select all uh, the objects in the particle collection and then. Reduce the mass to about 0.1, and then copy to selected to uh, to give that value to all the selected objects. Now, if you play back, uh, they are now a bit lighter. You can even go lower than this, but uh, sometimes I found that uh, the more you reduce you reduce the mass, the the more unstable uh, the simulation will become. But uh, let's see how it will behave. You know what, actually this is better. But I think the wind is a bit too strong. But uh, yeah, so in my original simulation, uh, whenever I was going below 0 0.1 kilograms, uh, uh, the simulation started be behaving really unstable and I was seeing a lot of artifacts and uh, bugs. So yeah, you can play with yours and see what happens to yours and uh, if it's if you start seeing artifacts, or I don't know, if you, if the simulation starts behaving uh, in a very unnormal way, just re increase the the mass. But uh, this is okay. Uh, maybe I can reduce the the strength and uh, just increase the maximum distance just a bit. Okay, that's still too much. Let's try 10. Let's try 5. Yeah, I think it's unstable still because you can see how far these leaves are going. They shouldn't be going that fast because I'm trying to reduce. Actually. 
and now that's better. Let's try five again. Yeah, so I've reduced, I've removed uh, the flow and set it to zero. And I think now it's a bit better than what we had. And uh, you can see, you can also add uh, turbulence. Uh, this will just give them a more wavy uh, movement. Uh, let's see how that. And uh, if you're only going to simulate uh, leaves in your scene as rigid bodies, you can go to the physics tab and reduce uh, the the gravitation, the gravity, so that they can go up a little bit. Yeah, so basically that's it. Uh, let's bring this to about five and see how. Yeah, the problem with uh, the problem with uh, using increasing the uh, the turbulence here is that uh, even the leaves are that are not affected by the wind are start moving up, like you see there. But I guess if we, I didn't do it here in the original tutorial, that's why, in the original version, that's why you see that uh, some of them start moving right away. And uh, that's something I don't want, I didn't like. Uh, so I think we can counter these by parenting uh, this turbulence to the wind. So control P, uh, it should move with the wind and also give it um, a fall off. So let's see what fall off should be. Yeah, so let it only affect wind uh, leaves that have that have already been blown up by the wind. Let me just expand this just a bit outside the fall of the of the wind, and let's see how that is affected. Now you can see. Yeah, I think that's better because you can see now uh, they get some they get some turbulence. Let me increase this to about ten and see. Yeah. I see. Yeah, I'm seeing some turbulence. Let me let me just increase the size just a bit. Maybe give this some fall off noise. Let's see. Yeah, I think every time you touch uh, the flow value, you start seeing some weird stuff going on. But uh, yeah. Uh, that's how you do it. Uh, let's reduce this to about two and see. Yeah. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial.